it's dark. Oh my gosh, look at that. Snake Hill chart. What the heck is this thing? Nobody knows. It's like the site of a recent death, though. <laughs> Fossils are kind of gross. <laughs> the fossils are gross. They have like ancient, ancient ocean toe bugs or something. Toe bugs. Hey guys, in this video today, I am going to be rock hounding for chert, flint, fossils, and all the good stuff that we always want to see here. I also show some of the stuff that I have made from the stuff found in this video. So stick around to the end, there's some surprises in here, and you guys enjoy. Just in the gravel. Here's another piece. Nice little piece of flint. So the trick for gravel is finding pieces big enough to make a point that are not e extremely weathered. Weathered. Limestone. Little bits of chert. So big enough pieces to make an arrowhead from that's uh, not weathered. There's high quality stuff mixed in to really low quality stuff, at this spot at least. So limestone there, but chert there. What do you think? I don't see anything up there. I don't see anything outcropping. Limestone. So this is the stuff we just found. Big brick of it. Looks like a massive boulder of the gray. Let's see my hand size. Oh my gosh. That's that same gray stuff. Is this what fell off? Yeah. Uh, that feels more like limestone. There's more underwear. Are you serious? Old underwears. What the heck? Some higher quality black blend mixed into the limestone. Just a pile of rocks. So due to the cubic cleavage of this type of flint, it is just really freeze damaged. I'm only able to make small points from this stuff, and as you can see, they're all kind of the same size. They're all kind of the same width. Some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. But for whatever reason, this rock only can make small points like this. I have not been able to find a flint with this freeze damage that I'm able to make larger points. You bitch. 
I don't remember the exact term. It's been a while since I took geology. Cleavage. That's the word, though. That is the word. Okay. What did I read that, that? What did I read that the fossil is in this stuff? Armored fish? Early armored fish? Uh, was it? Was yeah. that for Onondaga? Yeah. For Onondaga limestone. Look at that. See all the little shells? Oh. One there. There. Those are all fossils. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Check out that stone. Which one? I'm like sinking in the muck here. This one? Yep. That looks high quality. This is the blue stuff. Just a little bit of chert in limestone oh. on this one. It's pretty flooded, so I don't have much much to look at. Hmm. That's flint. I don't know what kind of flint. Blue stuff. It's got those little sparkles inside. Mm -hmm. Looks cool. I don't know what this stuff is called. I wish I did. Hmm. Nice. In this limestone. Grab that little piece right there. This? Tiny bit. Same stuff. Oh god. <laughs> that's that's a flake flake. Grab that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's some kind of bug. It's a really super sharp. That's that blue stuff. This just tumbled, cracked. Yeah, we got um, some kind of midge hatch going on. Is that a midge? Yeah. Startled me. I've not tested this stuff. Looks like just limestone. Limestone. Yeah. Limestone. Really high quality limestone.
sa iso kas cool this stuff is really good I really like this stuff this is a small nugget though the whole thing is flint oh my gosh looks like it might be kind of blocky though might be a piece underneath as well or not Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks nice. It's Isopus. It's Isopus with limestone. I'm gonna try all the brown. This is Isopus. <laughs> I'm sinking. A little piece. I see another two pieces of small chunks of brown. One up there, mm -hmm. and one over here. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall in the river. I'm gonna fall in the river. Gosh, see, I'm sinking in. Oh! He's close. Cool. Is that same stuff? Hmm. Cool. It's dark. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Snake Hill chart. I was reading that the stuff with the banding, the blue stuff, is called Kettle Point chart. Does not seem to be too good though. It's like Isipas. That black ground. Cobbles. Ooh. Feels super smooth. Yeah, that's it.
bought a medium length flint knife. I just nice. got some flint. I'll get right on that. Nice. We'll wow, send we're... you a little gift too. He's a Patreon. Patreon patron. David. He is a cool dude. I just wanted to see if there was a view. <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we missed it. Where's this bringing me? Just to a dead end. Is it? Alright, we'll look. What you got? This whole thing is filled with fossils. More fossils? See them all? Oh, wow. And then on the bottom, you can oh, see shells. Geez. Wow, look at that. So, ancient seafloor. This looks like it probably was. I don't know. Yeah, this is all the just the bed bedrock, right? Mm -hmm. Got some uh, park ranger activity over there, cutting logs. So it's made from Beecraft limestone, Oriskany sandstone, and Isapa shale. And they each have different kinds of fossils, so you can see which which is what's which is what. Crinoid, brachiopod, zoo ficus. I don't know how to say that one. Is that the zoo ficus? Looks like it might be. Fossils. I am no fossil expert, but maybe. Maybe. Cool. It's all in sandstone. Crazy. What the heck is this thing? Nobody knows. It's like the it's... site of a recent death, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no. It must have toppled and fell on top of him. Splat. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Whoever this guy was, rest in peace, uh, he did a lot of hiking. Look at the soles of his shoes. Yeah, those shoes are spent. So this man was an avid hiker. Tragic end. A really good example of uh, seafloor fossils. Here and here. But that's really good. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. Yeah, I don't know. You can see here and just imagine layers of, of sand. See the shells in there? That is pretty wild. Found a perfect napping disc. What's that? Oh! <laughs> there you go. If you can't find flint, you can find napping material. Look at this landscape. It's really something else. Look at that. Strange. Weird. Fossils are kind of gross. <laughs> the fossils are gross. Perhaps like ancient, ancient 
ocean toe bugs or something. Toe bugs? Like muck. Yeah, no, like muck bugs or something, right? Kind of gross. Just like, I don't know, ancient squishy mud bottom of a lake. That's what I'm picturing. You can get into a lake. It all squishes between your toes. Maybe that'd be some of the broken piece. Oh, there's some right there. That's all shell. Oh, wow. Those are shells. Cool. Hey, Here's another hey, big... Hey, hey, hey. See that gross... <laughs> gross toe bugs. <laughs> Like, ew. I don't know. Yep. It's kind of disgusting. Cool, but disgusting. See, like that one? Like, what is that? It looks like teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Toe bugs. That's flint. Is it? I wasn't even... I was showing, trying to show you this. It's a shell in flint. Yeah, is it? Wow. What the heck? That's different. So many toe bugs. Gross. <laughs> Oh man. Disgust. It's so, so weird. Heebie jeebies. How'd you think, like, why'd you think of toe bugs? I don't know. It's some sea floor, so I'm picturing stepping on this shit. <laughs> yeah. And some of it looks like it had teeth. Oh. That's a, that's a shell fossil right here in the limestone. Is it? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. actual shell. Like, what the heck? Millions of years old, and it's still like, it looks like shell. That is awesome. No? No. Oh, look. There's some kind of weird fungus in there. Oh, awesome. Ancient sea floor fungus. Ancient sea floor fungus. I can't even talk. Oh my god. Ancient fungus unleashed. Can you get an idea on that? Good job. <laughs> well, somebody had to end this shit. <laughs> Random piles. I keep thinking of the um toe beans song. You know those toe beans? No. Insert toe bean song here. Toe beans, toe beans, toe beans, toe beans. Toe beans. Uh, the Dolly Parton song, Jolien. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, morning one at a uh, free campground here. Uh, back at good old logging road. Right there. Looks uh, fairly used. Very clean. Ah, good morning, good morning. So, when I was at Letchworth, I got this book. Camping. The Camper's Journal. Write it down. So check this out. This is really cool to me. Location, date of trip. Weather temperature was, campground name, phone number, reservations needed. Uh, I rarely pay for campgrounds, but yeah, site number, ideal site number for possible return, comments, campground offered, who I camped with, people I met, place, I never meet anybody because I'm in the woods. Uh, what I enjoyed most being in the woods.
definitely. Uh, most memorable event being in the woods. Places to remember for next time. Special special attractions. I'm in the woods. Okay, guys. Um, uh, <clears throat> kind of kind of rush packed. I know Leah grinded up some coffee beans. I don't know quite what I'm doing yet, as usual. Uh, but I really like this spot. This is a good spot. I'm gonna definitely mark this down as I uh, as I come back to. This will be my second time here. Last time I stayed three nights. You could stay 14. Okay, heading out. I don't want to keep these, uh, look at the campsite clips, which are very, very long. We got a table too, that's cool. Okay, guys. <clears throat> back on the road. And heading back to where I left off. This is going to be extremely high quality limestone. Yeah. High quality limestone. You could nap that. to look at. No rocks. None. We just kind of like to get a feel of what kind of stone is in the area. Somebody cooked some fish right here. I see some pole holders. Charcoal. Somebody cooked fish there and there. There's probably huge fish in here. Man. Just walk around a little bit. I really, I really love spots like this. I got my fishing pole. I got my license. It's just my fishing pole is a uh, ultralight. I don't know what I'll hook in here. I don't want to catch a sea monster. Break the pole. Look at that. What an awesome spot. Wow, man. Can't find flint. Even at a spot like this. This is so freaking beautiful, man. Even at a spot like this. You could find stuff to nap. Perfect. I'm going to leave that for another napper.
So why archaeologists determine the date on things? And I wanted to explain this. This will get covered over time. This this little fire pit here. See how the stuff is already washed out? That's a movement of a site. This will be an archaeological site some someday. Within like a week. It'll be an archaeological site. And that'll be called uh I'll give it a name. What do we call it? Fisherman Fire Pit Archaeology Site 12. So, okay, Site 12 right here. We find, we found a piece of charcoal. Now, I touched it with my hands, so the site is ruined forever. Because I touched it with my hands, the site is ruined forever. You cannot get an accurate date. You cannot get any information. I mean, you could get a little information, like if there's fish bones here. You could see what kind of fish they ate. But when you touch things with your hands, you ruin the dating. There is a modern drug right there. So you might be able to get some uh, DNA off of that. Alright, so when you touch it with your hands, let's say you're touching an ancient site. It'll throw the dating off. I'll put up some information here so so you could, uh, I don't really know how to accurately describe it, so I'll throw up a screenshot here showing how the dating process works. But when you touch it with your hands, you throw the dating off. But most of the site here, for example, this is a good example, let's say a uh, Paleo-Indian camp right here 12,000 years ago. You see this being washed down, the charcoal being washed down into the river. A lot of sites were lost like that, or just entirely buried by huge mudslides coming through. Very deep, like eight feet down. There might be something right here. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome to me. But anyway, I'm just rambling. But you can, you can date sites with charcoal like that. You just gotta do it with the right machinery and the, the right technique and get an accurate date. Well, within hundreds of years at least. So it could be all, it could be uh, plus or minus 100 years or 200 years, but you get a fairly good idea of when it happened. And I'm sure they will uh, advance that technology soon enough. All right, I'm done rambling for here. That's man, should I fish here? I'm not gonna catch anything. I don't really have bait. Could try to dig up a worm or something. All right, get back to you guys if I uh, come across anything around here. This is just a stop on the road. There's Miss Leah looking at the river. Right there. The amazing Susquehanna. Be back soon, guys. When I was doing um, archaeology in Connecticut, I was working on a spot that looked like this. Much narrower of a river. And the ground looked like this. And I was doing uh, test pits with a... I forget what it's called, but it's a sh two shovels clamp them together and you pull the dirt out and we were putting them into the machine into the uh, sifting machines and uh, I wasn't this close to the river there it looked very similar to this just narrower like I said but we were up by the knotweed like like what's up there and we were looking to protect the site it was in a major city and we were just digging and I was I was digging and pulling, this is before I got sick. I was digging and pulling the things out, and I noticed I was starting to get chest pain, so I was kind of bummed a little bit. But I was I was working hard, I was digging the hole. I forget how deep we had to go down, but it was pretty deep because of this muck. Muck. The sites are buried deep. And I pulled out a couple pieces of ceramic, a couple flakes. No points or anything like that. But, um... On that day, I got really sick. That's when I first hurt my shoulder. Something something happened. 
and I had pain in here straight through to here and I was like something's up and I sat down and I was sweating a lot and it wasn't that hot I was like what the hell and then I started puking and I was like what the hell what the hell's going on here so I got really scared and I talked to my manager and he's like all right go home get checked out whatever I'll talk to you tomorrow I went home I think I went to the ER and they're like no your EKG is fine it's not your heart go home whatever so I was like okay whatever so I called my boss back to tell him what was up and he was like yeah no with something like that we got to let you go so uh, try to find another job somewhere else I was like what the what the hell man I had one incident well it was, they had a quota of yeah how many... they had a quota of how much had to be done in a day and because I got sick they fell behind on the quota and I guess me getting sick screwed them so but this spot here reminds me of that, and uh, I did find pottery, ceramics, um, woodland, woodland period stuff. So I don't know what happened with that site or anything because I got laid off, fired, whatever you want to call it. But still good memories. I love doing that stuff, and I'm going to be doing it again soon, soon, soon. So for anyone uh, new to the channel, uh, with that story, I had thyroid cancer. That's what was wrong. They fixed it six years ago now. They took it out. I'm good to go. I have some side effects, uh, but I'm still doing this kind of stuff, so I am good. But that's, uh, that's what happened. The pedic doctor wanted to do an MRI of my shoulder, and when they did the MRI of the shoulder, they saw the cancer in my thyroid. So then... I never got my shoulder fixed because I had to go get the cancer fixed. So now I'm trying to fix the shoulder and I'm in physical therapy right now. I have a week off from physical therapy. Uh, they canceled, not me. So I figured I'd come do this and film. Well, this and is its own kind of healing. Yeah. I always want to go in, but... Fish! Fish chase, chasing little fish. Alright, let's go make sure we aren't getting towed. Because I hear <laughs> Yep. Weird thing. Alright, so I am going to get back on the road and look for more rocks and stuff like that. Maybe stop it if I find any ancient sites or anything that I can talk about that's actually reported, like a recorded archaeological site. Maybe I'll go over that, stop some places, I don't know. I'm kind of just winging this whole trip, but I'm loving it so far, so. Come on, guys. Let's go. We got stuff to do. We can't just stare at a pretty river forever. <laughs> sure we could. Sure we could. All right, heading out. We just came over to this park just to get a little walk in. And guys, look. Do you know what that is? That is pineapple weed. If you take some, crush it. Oh gosh, you smell it. It smells so good and it smells like pineapple. And you can make it into a tea. Look at it, it's all here. This is really, really rare for me to see. I never see this stuff. I'm pretty sure Pennsylvania is the only place I've seen it, honestly. And it smells and tastes so freaking good. Unfortunately, we are on a ball field, so I don't know if they use any um, herbicides here. So I'm not gonna pick any. But that's so exciting, look. Rupert. Covered bridge was built in 1847 by Jesse Beard. Cost him a thousand six hundred. There it is. There's the crew. The bridge was damaged during a flood, and the waterway it's over top is called Fishing Creek. So I should probably fish in there then. And there it is.
So there is Fishing Creek, and there is Rupert Bridge, Covered Bridge. Look at that. That is a good looking bridge. Printer B floating in the air up there. Oh, I keep just going to fish. And some beautiful creeks around here. on this side, it's all on the other. So we can get up on the highway over there and come down. Is having issues. <laughs> Jeez. Bet you that's what dinosaurs sounded like. What do you say? Right here in the gravel, right next to the sidewalk, is some jasper. Oh wow. It's just gravel. They uh, chopped it up for. Look at that. Hmm. Is that it as well or no? Let's find out. No. I don't know what that is. Looks like it, but... White charity stuff. Hmm. Weird. Let's look at this real quick. Rainy. Nappable stuff, it's not the greatest. I should have my um, flint and steel to test, her, test if it sparks or not. Hmm. Are not pets? Why not? Oh, this has all the state animals. Is that a potato? Don't feed the squirrels potatoes. This is another spot along the Susquehanna. was I dipped it in a uh, horseradish that I bought at this place. The place is called Wild for Salmon and it is amazing. That is like the best salmon I've ever had. And I split it with Leia. She took half, I took half. And it was filets, like really thin and really good. Salty, but good. And then this is a um, traditional smoked. So I'm gonna try this in a little bit. It's still thawing. It's already cooked, it's already smoked, it says ready to eat. Good 
and that was super spicy, super good. My nose is still running from it. Look at that. Smoked salmon. Wow. I think I got my new favorite travel tree. It's almost like a super soft jerky, but it's common. Mm. Wow, super salty, but it's super good. Had a little bit of it. Some of it's good, some of it's not. I'll be able to get points out of all that. Look at that. That's going to get a nice point, even with the tracks. Smaller points out of that. Good stuff. PA Rock. So far, so good. First few days of the next rock trip. Got quite a bit of stuff. This is only one bag. All right, guys. I will be probably out about another week. And then I'll be uploading. So I'm sitting there holding a fishing pole, clearly. Guy comes over, what are you fishing? No, I'm trying to contact the mothership. <laughs> it's the only way. Let me know if this is laggy at all. But I'm at a creek here. I got some of the rock I collected. Just a tiny bit. I'm gonna try it. My tools are kinda scattered all over the place here. Hold on a second. All right. I'll try this piece first. Looks kind of cracked and damaged here. Let's see what I could come up with. And I'm also rushing now to get this done. All right. Put some notches in it. Just super fast. Okay, so this stuff definitely works. Look at that. Perfect for a little hunting point. Looks like a lot of the artifacts I saw in a museum up that way, honestly. Made from the same material. It'll work. All right, so out of a piece of freeze crack stuff like that, managed a little point. And, uh, all right. 
Leah is right there. Hello. Here, she is enjoying the creek. I have the, I have my phone on a little uh, tripod right now, so give her a break from filming. She's been filming with this thing. Hold this thing in front of the camera. She's been using this to get a uh, wildlife wildlife shots. There was a cool looking cool looking bird here. She was being a silent ninja. She's oh she's always a silent ninja. <laughs> I guess I have uh, I have quite a bit of this stuff. And like it's really when you get into it, it's really good. If you got the time to slow down, which I do not right now, um, you could make some really, really excellent stuff. I don't think I have any examples, but here's a cleaner piece. You can see those colors and shine in it. You just got to get deeper into the spalls. And this will make a much nicer point than uh, what I just made. That's a really rough point, but there are artifacts found like that. So they did use, they did use stuff like this. But, uh, it's been a while since I checked in with everybody. So I just wanted to check in and hop on the live. Maybe answer some questions if anybody has any. Uh, do the same thing. I'm, I'm recording the travel videos right now. So I'm going to clip this segment, this live, into a shortened version in the travel video so that people could see when, when I'm collecting this stuff what you could make out of it. Um, I want to record uh, getting a really nice blade out of this stuff. But that's not going to happen on live because there's just too many interruptions and uh, nervousness of fishermen coming over and be like, what are you doing? Why are you hitting stuff with antler? It looks weird. What's up, Timbite? Yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to get this upcoming series. I got all new videos coming out. And... Uh, just comment on this stuff so it gets seen. I'm doing uh, I'm doing pretty good with that. Um, I'm averaging, after a few weeks, about a thousand views on all of the videos, with the exception of the napping videos. Surprising to me. Um, chips. All right. Thumbs up, folks. It's free. Yep. Yep, yep. And uh, if you're not subbed, sub. You get more videos like this. I hop on live kind of randomly. And uh, if you're not subbed, you won't get notified of that at all. You'll probably never even see it. Oh, yeah. Hit that bell icon. Yeah, there's also a bell icon somewhere that uh, you hit. And you hit all notifications. And then it'll alert you whenever I come on live or upload the travel videos, or even shorts, I believe. I've been doing some shorts here and there of just uh, showing what this stuff is capable of. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna um, try to fish a little more and then get back on the road. I needed a break from driving, I'm exhausted. So I hope you guys are all having a good time. And uh, if I get a chance, I will hop on another live before this trip is over. I'm right out here in the mountains on a creek and I found some flint. There is flint here. I'm also fishing. Come check this out. darker. I don't know if this is the way out. I do not know. Check the map. My phone's dead. You are. Uh, well then.
pretty good. This thing here was a tavern originally. Looks like a tavern. Looks super old. Did I get a plant? A mega pint. A mega pint. <laughs> So here we are in Frackville, just waiting for some deliveries, some orders, and then get back to looking for Flint. Hmm. All right, guys, it's dark out now. Uh, made about 150 bucks, so that was not too shabby in Fraxville. Doing DoorDash. On to the next. I gotta drive those people acting nutty around here driving. Inspirational quotes along the highway here. I'm gonna make sure this is yeah. okay. I'm good to go, I guess. Okay, we slept at a Walmart again. There's no campsites in Pennsylvania that don't that you can't just you can't just pull into. You have to it's a big ordeal. So I'm um, gonna head north to where I could just pull into a campsite. Because sleeping in Walmarts is not fun. I think I got like maybe four and a half hours of sleep total. And it's like it's six AM. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop if I see anything cool anywhere, get back to you. Express service only. Hurry up, you're too slow, customer. Your order is too time consuming. <laughs> Got myself a bagel breakfast and stopping on another side along the river here oh man good morning <sighs> info say anything important ah uh, this region is part of the lumber heritage region celebrates the area's rich milling and manufacturing history. More than half the region's population lives within the river corridor with convenient access to state forests, park, and game lands, scenic river stretches, hiking, biking, and hunting opportunities. Anglers enjoy both warm water and cold water fishing. Increasing number of visitors use the Pine Creek Rail Trail system linking the Jersey Shore to the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon. Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, that is on the list. Cool. 
Cool, cool. All right, I wanted you guys to see this. Just because this is where I uh, ate my breakfast. Whew. So, about that, why do I do this? I'm going to give you guys a view here. Look at this. So that's one. Susquehanna. Switch around. So there is a trolley boat thing. These clouds are just rolling through these mountains. I see fish jumping, or at least surfacing. Wow. I'm just on a little, a little dock. All right, another slow pan for you guys. Oh, this is a place to eat breakfast. I am not kidding. A little coffee and a bagel. I wish I had more of that salmon from yesterday. Probably catch a trout in here and make it. All right, guys. Wow. him go had to get some fishing in <laughs> look at that look at that there's like nobody here I'm just in the middle of the woods. So, there's some pretty damn big hornets. What the hell is that thing? Jesus. Right there. International Dark Sky Association. Cool. All right. Just taking a look around here for a minute. Astronomers with telescopes only pods where you get shot into space. <laughs> no.
Cherry Springs State Park. There's the address and the GPS. This place is pretty awesome. Dark skies. It's the darkest spot in the area. It's right there. They have an astronomy observation field. Leah's got my pocket guide to the Stars and Planets book. The overnight astronomy observation field rules. No flashlights, no computers, no devices. Excessive red lighting is prohibited. This is pretty cool. You could see stuff like that here. Fire going, little tiny, little tiny fire. You got a plate of stuff, some hot Italian sausage, and some provolone, pickles, olives, and mixed nuts. On this plate, we got mangoes and melons and watermelons and bananas and a coffee and some water because that's important too. Coffee and water. Drink it. All right, my hair is starting to get crazy and poofy. And the next morning, sleep was okay. It was kind of hot. I'm eating some crackers. Um, I feel arrested yet sore. I don't know why I'm so sore. Okay. Time to drive. Maybe it's from driving. I don't know. But that was what was behind us. And over on the other side, it's a big open field. I went out there and looked at all the stars. And there was <clears throat> about twice as many stars as I normally see. Which was pretty freaking cool. Also saw a bunch of satellites moving stuff in the sky. I'm not awake yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this in the video anyway. Alright, time to drive. Everything's been put back in the back. So what we've been doing is moving all that, moving all that into the front here where I'm sitting. And then we got a mattress back, like a foam mattress back there that we've been sleeping on. We brought the tent. It's a big tent, though. And I just didn't feel like setting it up because we're only going to be here one night. So, okay. Time to go. That's crazy looking. You can see all the little valleys and hills and just goes forever. This is called uh, Cherry Springs Vista. It says the Duncan's right up here. Like I got limping into it. Huh? Limping and crawling to the tent. I think, uh, I think I might try to take Jack Crafty's advice of caffeine pill instead of coffee, but I'm scared of caffeine pills. So in different towns, I've noticed that the water either tastes very strange or very good, depending on where. Um, this one tastes very strange. I'm going to drink it anyway. I don't know what I'm tasting. 
just crossed the New York border. We're in New York now. And we managed to get gas for $4.32 at the Seneca gas station. Uh, it's like 45 cents cheaper than everywhere else. Yeah, I don't know how it's so cheap, but it was. And there was big lines for it. So, awesome. And now we're in the town of Allegheny. We just entered it. And I'm not really too sure where we're going yet. But today looks nice, it's hot, and we got stuff to do. Let's go. Alright, so, uh, to explain the rock thing, I do flint napping. I make arrowheads, spear points, and stone knives. And I like to go collect the material I need to do these myself. I actually love to do it. So that's part of why I drive all over the place is collecting resources for these stone tools for bushcraft and, survi and survival, as well as the flint napping. I also travel around and visit small towns and check out roadside attractions and go camping in uh, big forests. I like to be away from people for the most part when I'm camping. So I like to uh, go to, they're called primitive campsites. And usually when I'm at those primitive campsites, I do survival stuff and bushcraft stuff and use my plant navig, use the stone tools. And uh, go fishing. I also stop along the way and uh, stop at creeks and go fishing. Uh, I broke my fly rod pole though, so that stinks. But I just wanted to do a little uh, update for new people on the channel of what I do and why I do it, just in case you're confused about why I'm screaming about rocks uh, and why I'm smelling rocks. Why do I smell rocks? I don't know. You're just going to have to find some and smell them yourself and find out why. Some of them smell. Okay, so I am uh, nine miles on this road. I'm in the town of Friendship. I have not made any friends in this town, but I've also not stopped the car. So um, it's kind of hard to make friends as you're passing people like at 70 miles per hour. So uh, no friends to be found in the town of Friendship yet. I, I don't think I'm all the way out. No, I'm not out yet. It's the Friendship Cafe we just passed. Uh, they did not want to be friends either. Just, they seem friendly I just don't know I can't make friends here I don't know what's going on okay anyway uh, so like if I see if, like a lot of the times I don't have a lot of stuff planned when I'm driving I kind of just stop as I go as I travel so like if I pass a zoo I'll stop at a zoo I have not seen a zoo yet no here you know what I need I need a dash cat I need a cat that sits right there that I can put a camera on and everyone can stare at while I'm talking and exploring. Hmm, I'll think about it. In Northern Pennsylvania, I did not see a ton of good rock for much of what I do. I mean, if I had to go hunting, there's definitely rock I could use for hunting or fishing, whatever. Um, but it is not chert, it is not flint, there was a lot of uh, siltstone, mudstone, quartzite, stuff you could nap, but it's not, uh, it's not excellent material, it doesn't look very, very pretty. Um, up in, as you head north, you find, in my experience here, you find more and more stuff in the creeks that uh, you can use for flint napping arrowheads, spear points, stone tools, hunting things, fishing things, fishing hooks even if you want to. Yes, you can make fishing hooks out of stone. And maybe I'll feature that soon. But, uh, this channel here is mostly about outdoors travel, camping, 
fishing and I have not added hunting yet but maybe eventually I don't know in a half mile turn left all right I have to turn left in a half mile here so I gotta put the phone down again this is really pretty scenery this is really really pretty mountains okay I gotta go I will be back soon I will check in with you at my next stop so stick around hit like hit the comment thing and say something and then hit subscribe because that's awesome of you to do that and I like when people do that that's Turn when left onto Knights Creek Road River wow that was weird that's when I make friends so do that okay uh, I'm turning left okay bye I'm down at creeks like this I'm looking for something that looks like limestone and right here there's flint sticking off of the limestone so now I know there's flint in this area that is flint this chunk of stuff right here is flint see if I could get it off in one piece hang on See, there's the limestone. So this whole piece is limestone with the exception of this stuff, which is the flint right here, very small on the surface. So now I know there's flint here with this limestone. So I'm gonna fish a little bit and look around as I go. a heck of a lot of flint. I'm seeing a little bit. But that doesn't mean it's not here. It just means it's not here a lot. So I'll keep looking around and keep fishing. I'm not really catching anything either. Just saw a fish jump though. Keep looking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hear that ring? Mm -hmm. Usually means good material. It's cherty. It's limestone with chert. So you can nap this. You can use this. It's just rough. But it'll work. And it's very, very sharp. You could nap this real quick into a spear point or arrowhead. See it flakes? If it flakes, you could use it. Good stuff. Good limestone here. So that is churdy limestone. It has chert in it. Look around a little bit more. I saw this smooth surface and wanted to check it out. Um, it's not chert. It is some kind of sandstone, but look, it's got fossils in it. See that one? 
And then on the flip side, there's a whole lot of little fossils. Many fossils here in the sandstone material. There's some really gorgeous ones. Look at that. Is anybody good at identifying fossils? I don't know the first thing about that, unfortunately. Looks like we got a few different types. these guys up at a gas station. It was like 30 cents. Some grubs. I don't know if those are grubs. I don't know what those are. But I'm going to try to catch something. With them. It's very uh, freeze cracked and damaged. Can't really use that for too much except for maybe flint and steel for fire starting. And I'll clip that in here how you could use this. I'll show you how you could use this. Stuff that looks like that, you can use it. Here's some more very weathered flint that you could really only use for flint and steel fire starting and only this top half here. The flint is right there, the rest of this is limestone. Seems like small pieces here. I'm not seeing any, any big chunks of this stuff. As of right now, um, when I come to a spot like this, I'm not looking to collect the flint here, but I am mapping it. I have a project that I'm working on, and I'm mapping chert locations and chert density, how much chert is washing out into rivers, and was it available to Native Americans in the past, and did they use it? Which, uh, from what I'm seeing so far, yes, they did, especially in this area. It's like perfectly just sitting there waiting for you. I don't think it's flint. No? No, I'm gonna check it though. Oh, it might be limestone, right? Just limestone. Yeah. I'd 
had that nice smooth surface though. Tricked me. about one piece of flint, one small piece of flint, minor flint, about one every 10 to 20 feet, which is actually quite high for any location, but uh, sometimes it is it's way more abundant than that. And in doing this, I get to enjoy stuff like that. Look at that. That is beautiful. So, at this location here, a lot of stuff is covered in the silt. So it's harder to tell what you're looking at when it looks like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up a river. I'm gonna follow this river today. This is gonna be today's journey, uh, today's adventure, is head up the river and see if there's any flint anywhere along this river. What is it? I don't know. That's one of the weirdest things I've seen in a creek. It's just a regular stone. It has some kind of an X with patterns on it. Are they like... I don't know. I don't want to... Engraved in or... I don't know. I don't feel an engraving. Strange, man. You find some strange things in creeks. <laughs> Alright. Head out more fossils here than flint yep. and some underwears oh never mind let's crush that so just an example of some of the stuff you could actually make from creeks i didn't get this stuff from this particular creek i got this from a different creek but this is a spear point for an atlat a dart you throw, the, you throw this with a long spear, with a spear thrower. And then this is a limestone-based chert, much like what we found down here. And this is just a knife for cutting. This is a crude knife. This is not a fancy knife. I just percussion shaped this. I didn't do any flaking. Just percussion, just hitting the blades off. I didn't shape the base any. I just wanted to see if it would work, and it made a nice knife. And that's a perfect spear point. I love this thing. Okay, let's get going. We are heading to check out a free campsite, but I don't know. It seems a little weird. There was a guy releasing a wild raccoon at the end of the corner here. He had a cage and he was struggling with it. The thing was backing itself up into the cage like it didn't want to be let go. The guy was insisting. It seemed, uh, I don't know, a little weird, man. Releasing raccoons back into the wild at the end of the campsite. We'll see. I'll get back to you. It's probably going to be weird. Usually if you see something weird going into a free campsite, it's gonna be weird. So, pro tip, trust me on that. Get back to you soon. Alright, not my normal. But somehow I hurt my back. I don't know what I did. It's very, very tight. And it's kind of making my stomach numb. Like here. So, uh, I had to drive about an hour, booked a hotel room. The, it was the only one not booked, like, within four, a four-hour radius. So I had to drive an hour. Uh, so I went to Letchworth, and I saw that napping sign 
And I was like, what the heck? Let me look that up. So I looked up Letchworth uh, Flint Napping. And then it turns out there's a nap in tomorrow at Letchworth. But now I'm all messed up and I don't know if I could go. I would like to go. It's been a very long time since I've been to a nap in. Maybe like 2003. And it wasn't even an official nap in. It's been a long time. <sighs> rough. Rough stuff, man. This thyroid stuff sucks. My, mus my muscles are so screwed up. <sighs> still push forward, though. I still do what I want to do for the most part. I want to go tomorrow, but I don't know what's going on with my back. Like... <clears throat> frustrating. Extremely frustrating. Alright. Got a basic room here. It was the only room available. Two small beds. So. Whatever. Got air conditioning. Got a charger for my phone. It's cool, the USB just plugs right in the wall. I'm bummed out, man. I guess I'm pushing, pushing too hard, pushing myself too hard. Hiking all over the place like this, wind up pinching a nerve in my freaking stomach. All right, whatever. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to go to sleep. Check out his app like 11. It's like 11 now, 11.30, something like that. I almost just drove home, but I can't do that. I can't just stop. I can't just... <sighs> I always say do it anyway. So I'm going to do it anyway, even though this is scary. And I don't know what's going on. I don't like numbness. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I uh, after my thyroid surgery, I had a blood clot in my lung, somehow. So, uh, I get some health anxiety when I get weird stuff like numbness in my organs. Whatever, man. I got my book, my New York Paleo Indian book there. I'm going to read it a little bit and go to sleep. Huh. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm hurt. What else is new? What else is new? Do it anyway. All right, whatever. Good night. See you guys in the morning. All right, just to be clear, uh, not the normal for me to be in a hotel room, but I need a bed. So, um, it's only going to be one night. This is expensive. So, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I'm either going home or I'm going back to Letchworth for the nap-in. I've been trying to do uh, DoorDash and other uh, delivery services just to make some extra money, but with gas prices being what they are, this, this is, like, really difficult to do. I'm driving all over the place, uh, hundreds of miles to try to find this rock and uh, adventure and exploration and all that. And uh, wow, this is tough. I guess that's it. I just wanted to. Uh, clarify that because I didn't finish the thought before. So, okay. Have a good one. See you guys in the morning. Maybe I'll feel better. Alright, so the goal here is to explore and look for rocks and look for treasures and look for secret places and awesome stuff. 
and travel and road vlog and video vlog and uh, road trip, travel, kayak, keywords, algorithm. <laughs> awesome. The coffee kicked in. I am awake now. A majestic river. And I am happy to be here. I think I'm just gonna have a bit of an adventure here. forest here the edge of one I just woke up it is uh, six in the morning and uh, foggy I'm not sure what kind of rocks I'm looking for here it's an all-new location I'm sorry I'm half asleep I uh car camped again. We got in at 1 in the morning. It is now 6 in the morning. So we are not, we are not in New York this time. Okay. Back in the car. I'm not sure where I'm going yet. So this is morning 1 and I do not have a plan yet. Look at that fog, man. It was really foggy when I woke up. Okay, heading out. All right. I am still tired. I got a large iced coffee. Not bring much of my bushcraft survival gear, but I did bring my flint and steel thing. So I'm going to start fires. I'm going to try to start it with this thing. Wow, that's really cool. It broke. There's a raccoon, a bear with its head ripped off, some squirrels, a stork, stork or a heron, a cardinal or something, and some kind of bird at the top but it's broke. That sucks. Cool. Look at this. I am here. <laughs> awesome. The coffee kicked in. I am awake now. This is a majestic river. And I am happy to be here. Man, it smells so nice here. Woodpecker. I gotta get my fishing license, cause look right there. Do you see them? Look at that, see them? <clears throat> All right, so I am going to be looking for flint. I do not see any rocks here. It's all sand. Looks like a big storm came through. There is uh, a lot of muck 
Wash down. Man, it is so much more springy summer here than it is up in New England. This is really a, really a bit of a shock. I went to sleep while I drove quite a few hours and I went to sleep. <clears throat> when I woke up, it was all fog. And uh, saw a bunch of newts. A whole bunch of newts. They're like this big. All over the road leading into the campsite. And uh, I wake up to all these crazy bird sounds and all. Just enjoying this. Alright guys. I don't have too much to say just yet. I think I'm just gonna have a bit of an adventure here. I see I see big fish in the water. Right here I could see them with my eyes. They're just swimming past. That is awesome, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get my license real quick. I will be back. Raymond's Kill Falls, National Park Service, wear sturdy shoes, don't touch poison ivy, don't leave our, I gotta clip that, I gotta bleep that, so we are here, and there's some kind of waterfalls there that I want to check out, looks like there's, there's something called Quarry Path, It seems like anything, anything around here uh, has to be on private property. It can't be on uh, anything in the national park at all. So, what? what can't be? Rocks. You can't collect rocks. Say look. Or plants. But I read that if you're, I read, I'm not sure if it's right or not, but I read that uh, in here, you can collect plants to eat. So I don't know. But that says no collecting of plants, so I don't know. I think that was in the state game lands. That's state game lands?
You are sharing this area with black bears. Please bring bananas. <laughs> Never approach or beat a bear. Pack out all trash, food, scraps, and bananas. Bring a banana, call the park ranger. There's his phone number. Bears. Slippy, slippy. Slow down! Major wildlife collision area. Next 13 miles. I was telling the deer to slow down, not the cars.
So I'm really enjoying all this traveling around and uh, looking at roadside stuff. Found some really nice stuff. Pieces. Wow. Right there and there. Some there too. That's all on the bottom. This? Coming out of the limestone. Yeah, this is it. So, this is the smelly stuff. Here's the dust. Yes, yes. Looks right. Hmm, that is it. Is it? Smell that. You smell it. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. It's on a daga. That's a uh, 10 year, 10 year journey to try to find this stuff. I just <laughs> So that was the nap in. I didn't stay too long. I stayed about an hour. I got a lot of recording to do. But I, uh, I'm, I finally met Ken. I've been talking to him for many years and never got to meet him. So I'm glad that uh, he was there. He was just leaving uh, pretty much right as I got there. He was packing up, getting ready to go. But uh, yeah, cool guys there. And. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go to more of those. It was a fun time. And Letchworth is freaking amazing, man. I'm just driving around it right now. Welcome to Letchworth State Park. My name is Ken Wallace, and I am a flint napper. You're probably wondering right now, what is a flint napper? Well, in the next few minutes, I hope to show you what exactly a flint napper is. First, we, we come up to this part right here, where we talk about the stone. The stone is flint, or actually, this is chert. What determines it from being chert or flint is how much quartz is in the stone. Now the native stone that we have around Letchworth State Park, which is Onondaga Flint, is this. This is quite thick, so it needed a lot of reduction. That's the first thing that will see the target. You really want it nice and pointed and strong. A little bit more work at this point will be considered a finished and usable piece. I am going to go look in some creeks and rivers probably to the northwest a little bit and see if I could find anything um, have not found anything substantial yet for uh, Flint I found the bassinite but that's uh, kind of all cracked and stuff I could I could still use it but uh, it's not good to make big blades or anything like that so I'm just kind of relaxing for a minute and uh there's not too much around here i just pulled over at a, a dollar general just to get some air conditioning and relax for a minute oh. i think uh might be getting close to the end of this trip but then i'm gonna go home get some appointments done and uh 
try to make a little bit more money and then come back out again and uh yeah maybe i'll go to my normal uh stomping grounds and find some plinth up there i'll clip that here in case you missed that it's from uh a few months ago i found some really good stuff so i'll clip that in here and then uh you could also see what i found this trip right here what found some really nice pieces wow right there and there some there too that's all on a bobber this? coming out of the limestone Yes. Looks right. Hmm. That is it. Is it? Smell that. You smell it. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. It's on a daga. That's a uh ten year ten year journey to try to find this stuff. I just found it. <laughs> So We're it's... getting closer and closer. It's under us. <laughs> just gotta find a good right, actual I source of it. Just studying the rock here. I'm not taking anything. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Found Onondaga before, but not with that specific oil, gasoline, petroleum smell. This is it. Look at this, guys. Finally found it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Here, let's see if I can. I have such a tiny hammer stone here. Yeah, look, look, look. You ready? Oh my god. I can smell it from here. <laughs> look. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's strong. Is it? It's fading. Long hike too. I'm just trying to follow the creek. Find creek access. It's freaking everywhere. What the heck, man? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it the old way, just for old time's sakes. Like five, six years ago, how I used to say it with my Long Island accent. Look, guys, it's Anadagua. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> so I just looked down here in the creek. And it looks like there's a yeah, that's a pretty good piece. It's a little tumbled, but uh, I could probably nap that. I'll give it a try. So, creek find. something. I'll have to think on this. I don't know. It's very strange. First the pennies and now this pile of sticks. I don't know man. There's weird occult stuff going on here I think. Right behind where I'm staying here and there's Flint right at the tree. Crazy. So, a good way I've found to see if you're near any kind of flint that would be in creeks is you look in the gravel, the places that they put down, and if you find flint there, 
more than likely it will be in creeks nearby. I'll show you that this is indeed flint. Should have gotten a bigger bobber. Hold on. Flint. Yep. Just in the gravel. Here's another piece. Nice little piece of flint. here in the gravel. It doesn't look very good, but I don't know yet. Well, it's chert. It's just damaged. Smelly stuff. Yeah, makes good blades. Hey guys, I am on the road. I've been recording for almost two weeks now. Been out. Uh, things are pretty good. I did find chert. Spoiler. Wait, I'm supposed to say spoiler first, then say I did find chert. So, uh, too bad for you. Um, anyway, I gotta go home. I have an appointment, and then I'm heading right back out. So, keep an eye out for videos. There's gonna be a bunch of new stuff a bunch of new stuff. Okay, you have a good one guys, I'll keep this short. Uh, anything else I wanted to say? Um, 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 no. Okay, bye. This is what it came from. It's very, very smooth before you start whacking on it. The outside is also smooth, but it looks like that. Trying to straighten it a little bit. Base is curved. Every uh, hunting season, I make a whole bunch of these little points with uh, all new arrows. Okay, I'm just gonna put little, little tiny notches in here, I think. Yeah. Okay, not too bad.
super thin for uh, Norman skill. My other, my other arrowhead was a little bit thinner, but I'm running out of uh, running out of strength to do this. <laughs> Should try to get rid of a little bit of that. Oops. Yeah, I'm running out of strength to pressure flake here. All right. Let's see, what did that last comment say? <sighs> yep. Yeah, rough flints are way harder to work. All right. If I had smaller flaker I could do finer work but I think that's pretty good nice and thin yep all right that'll be going on another arrow keep it for now okay have a good one guys